The biggest mistake you can make with AI agents is using them when you don't need them. If you want to build profitable AI automations with agents and avoid wasting tons of time with the wrong tools, this video is for you. Let's get into it. All right, so let's go ahead and start with what are AI agents really? So if we look at this diagram here where we have traditional automations and then we introduce AI into those automations, we start to actually have an AI agent when the agent is actually making decisions on how to run the automation. But the most important thing to remember is that it becomes an AI agent when it actually starts to make decisions on how the automation functions, not just because it uses AI to solve a problem. So first up, let's take a look at a standard old school automation. Here we're monitoring an email and we are looking at the contents of that email. And based off of the contents of that email, we are drafting a reply. In one situation, we're gonna reply with this email. And in the other situation, we're going to reply with this email. So now what this automation is doing is it's monitoring my email and based off of the question, it is routing it to a specific response. Once we start to introduce AI to the automation, you'll see here that we have a lot of advantages to hard coding the messages as we did in the old school automation. So let's go ahead and step through this automation just like we did this one here. First, we'll read the email. We can take a look here again where we see somebody was not happy with our service and is looking for a refund. And then we have that switch module, which is looking for whether or not the email is referencing a refund or a product question. So again, we're not using AI to actually make decisions, but if we run that switch statement here, we're gonna see that it found the term refund from within the email here. And then based off of that, took that top route here. And now we can use OpenAI to actually craft a response instead of hard coding that into our module here. So let's take a look at this example here. As this email comes in from Gmail, we're actually analyzing it before we send it into the switch module. Now let's go ahead and take a look here and see how the automation is working. So it's at this step here where we can actually analyze the email below and determine if it's a general question or a request for a refund. So in the automation here, we can just simply respond back with what type of email it is, whether it's a general request or a request for refund. So let's go ahead and run this automation here. So now we have an output here, we can take a look and we can see that this message is now a refund. So with the most basic AI agents, they're able to actually analyze the inputs and help us figure out where we should go further down in the automation. So when you look at this prompt here, the next step, the switch can still look for something that is more rigid, whether it's just general or refund, but the AI was able to detect that and gave us a firm answer to run on. 